If you're considering making a move to Corona, California, especially if you're considering the communities of Trilogy, Glen Ivy, or Terramore, there are a few things you should know before making your final decision. So in this video, I'll share with you our top five things you should know before making a move to Corona, California. Hi, my name is Casey and I'm a local realtor here in Corona. And if this is your first time here, I share everything you need to know about the 55 and older communities of Trilogy at Glen Ivy and the community of Terramore. So if this is something that you might find interesting, I'd love if you'd hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. Okay, so let's get started. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, then you already know that I'm a big fan of Trilogy and Terramore. In fact, my wife and I moved here a little over a year ago and we absolutely love our home and our community. But there are a few negative things about living here too. So to be fair, and to give you a truly honest opinion about the area, I wanted to share them with you. So here are the five things I feel you should consider if you're thinking about moving to Corona, California. Number one, lot sizes. Many people looking for a home really do enjoy having a large yard. And this could be for entertaining family and friends, for having pets, or maybe you just enjoy gardening. But here in the communities of Terramore and Trilogy, you'll find that the lot sizes are relatively small. Now there are exceptions. There are a few homes in both communities that have very large lots, but the vast majority of these homes in these communities are built on relatively small lot sizes, typically between 4,000 and 6,000 square feet. And I believe they were built this way due to the fact that this is a 55 and older community, and the idea was to have smaller lot sizes that would require less maintenance. But the homes here are built on relatively small lots, and they are fairly close together. So if having a large lot or having distance between homes is important to you, Trilogy and Terramore might not be a good fit. Number two walkability. It's important to keep in mind that if you're considering moving to Trilogy or Terramore, you're probably going to need a car. Both communities are located in the south section of Corona, and the vast majority of the area is made up of residential housing, and most of the shopping and dining spots are several miles away. The closest shopping area for us is the shops at Sycamore Creek, which is located right off the 15 freeway at Indian Truck Trail. So from the community of Terramore, it's about 1.7 miles away, and from Trilogy at Glen Ivy, it's about 3.8 miles. Now I know this isn't really that far, but it's definitely not something you're gonna to wanna to walk either. So if you are considering either of these communities, you really will need a car. Number three, property taxes. Now this is one area where there really is a big difference between Terramore and Trilogy Glen Ivy. The community of Trilogy Glen Ivy definitely has much lower property taxes. And since it's been around much longer, a lot of the bonds are reaching the point where they're paid off. So the tax rate in Trilogy is right around 1.1 to 1.2% which in Southern California is really good. And for an example, if you purchased a home in Trilogy for $700,000, your property taxes would be approximately $7,700 per year, or about $642 per month. But since the community of Terramore is much newer, it does come with higher property taxes. And when you factor in the special assessments that are a part of Terramore, the average property tax is closer to 1.7%. So if you look at the same example, and you were to purchase a home in Terramore for $700,000, your property taxes would be approximately $11,900, or about $992 per month. So this is definitely something to consider, and it's one of the biggest differences between the two communities. And it really is important because a lot of people living in a 55 and older community will be living on a fixed income for their retirement. Number four, shopping. If you'd like to be close to shopping, or if a shopping mall is important to you, then Corona might not be a good choice. For residents in Trilogy and Terramore, as I said earlier, the closest shopping is in the shops at Sycamore Creek. This shopping center does have most of your basic necessities. It has a Bond supermarket, a CVS pharmacy, a gas station, a pizza hut, a dry cleaners, a Starbucks, and a few smaller specialty stores. But for anything more than this, you'll need to head north on the 15 freeway to the shops at Dos Lagos or the crossings at Corona. This is where you'll find the main shopping and dining options here in Corona. Now from the community of Terramore, it's about 5.8 miles to Dos Lagos and about 6.9 miles to the crossings. And from Trilogy at Glen Ivy, it's about 4.7 miles to Dos Lagos and about 5.7 miles to the crossings. And if you're looking for an actual shopping mall, you'll have to head over to the Gallery at Tyler and Riverside, which is about 17 miles away, the Ontario Mill Shopping Mall, which is about 21 miles away, or Victoria Gardens in Rancho Cucamonga, which is about 24 miles away. And finally, number five, traffic. Now, in my opinion, this is the worst of all. And I know here in Southern California, we're known for having bad traffic but the traffic here in Corona is some of the worst I've ever seen. And I've lived in Southern California my entire life. And even though they've tried to make improvements over the years, it just hasn't helped much. There are two main freeways here in Corona, the 91 freeway and the 15 freeway. The 91 freeway is a popular route for people commuting into LA and Orange County. 
So during the main commute hours, this freeway is terrible. But in my opinion, the 15 freeway is even worse. And since we're located in the furthest point south in Corona, the 15 freeway is the main route. There are a few side roads if you exit the 15 freeway, but they get almost as congested as the freeway. And to make matters even worse, the system here does have a toll road, which was supposed to ease traffic. But what's so frustrating about the toll road is that during peak travel times here in Corona, a three mile stretch of the toll road will cost you an additional $16. And for me, the idea of paying an additional $16 to drive three miles is just a tough pill to swallow. But if you're considering moving to Trilogy or Terramore, you really should consider the traffic before making your final decision. I always recommend that people come out and drive the freeways at different times to get a feel for what the freeways are really like because the traffic really can be a frustrating experience. So there you have it, our top five things to consider before moving to Corona, California, especially if you're considering Trilogy at Glen Ivy or the community of Terramore. And even though both are wonderful communities, I do like to give an honest opinion of what life is really like here and some of the challenges that we face. And if you have any specific questions about the area, please reach out and let me know. My contact information is in the description below.